JT won't see. Make the stallion in the sea. Many female artists today are being accused of promoting prostitution or sex work in their music. But 100 years ago, Bessie Smith told her man, He must get it and bring it and put it right here. On else he's gonna keep it out there. Just for Ella Fitzgerald to tell us. Who's For Candy Staten to tell us. You may think I'm silly to love a man twice my age, but I know from experience, girls, sometime it pays. Who then let Marlena Shaw tell her man. Uh, thought that maybe you're tired, I'm tired. We and your $25 is tired than both of us. Which made way for Gwen Guthrie to prophesy. I said no romance with the delivery or musical genres may be different. The message is still the same. No money, no honey. Honey. You think you're slick here playing with my penis. With songs such as Runaway Love and Don't Give It Up, Linda Clifford became a pioneer in telling these men to give, to get. A lot of women, particularly in rap, are like telling like the guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this. You're not going to do that. But you were doing that back then. You, what color is your money? I want, I like the color green. That's what I want to see, green. I want all I can get before you get anything. I ain't giving up a thing till you show me. What inspired you to do these, as they were called back then, raps on the tracks or monologue? My ex-husband. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you say I hurt your feelings. Well, you know what they say, it be that way sometimes. In the studio just one day, and my band starts playing this group. So I just stepped up to the mic, you know, fooling around and started talking about my ex-husband. <laughs> and unbeknownst to me, they recorded it while we were doing it. So, um, so that's how Runaway Love came to be. It was literally the story of my marriage. <laughs> And besides, you ain't got no money. You ain't never had no money. I'm the one with the money. Now sit on that for a while. We see it to him one more time, girl. Love will become a billboard chart topper, standing out because Linda told her man. I don't want no poor ass man, okay? I want somebody to bring me that check every week. And this song will make way for another hit. Don't give it up. You gotta keep what you got while you're high. And don't give nothing up to nobody. Backed by the legendary Jones girls, both of them school the girls on how to not get used by a man. I wanna see what you gonna give me before I give up anything. Don't give it up. Can you please just talk about why it is important or why you felt it was important for women to hear those kinds of messages. It's like anything else. Too much use of something, you wear it out. Okay? And, you know, when you give something up too easily, it's not worth fighting for. It's not worth having. If you can get it anytime you want it, you've got to Work for it. You give them an inch, they're gonna take a whole mile. You heard that saying before? Well, it's the truth. Because as long as you let them get away with it, they're gonna do it. And I wanted young women to understand that they were valuable. You know, you are worth all there is. You young girls out there, you better watch your step because they're looking for you, honey. You got to get yours first, honey. That's the way it's gonna be from now on. Give me, give me, give me. You know, who's going to speak for you if you don't speak for yourself? And people will not know your needs and your wants if you don't tell them. I want some blue chips, and I ain't talking about food stamps neither, honey. I want some stocks and bonds, all of them in my name. You got to have the right chips. 
And it's not a, it's not all about just going to be with somebody that's got money. It's about being with somebody else who respects himself enough to come to you with something. I think that, you know, I've been married now for 45 years. It'll be 45 years in November. <clears throat> Even though the first marriage <laughs> didn't work out so well, um, I did learn a lot from it. And I think, um, you know, women, we want to be equal partners. And very much so, women are out there, they're bringing home the bacon, they're taking care of the babies, the house, they're doing it all. So, you know, like Aretha said, give me my respect. Go ahead, baby, you can leave now. I'm gonna go out and find me somebody and book it down, book it down. While the messaging and delivery may not be for everyone, you can't deny that Linda and the rest of these ladies' messages of self-advocacy and empowerment are important not just for women, but for everyone. You are